Now, when the first case of COVID-19 was reported in Kenya on the 13th of March 2020, I was traveling to Mombasa for an editor's meeting. I learned about it just as I switched on my phone upon disembarking. For a moment, it felt like a dream because up until then, COVID-19 had been a distant echo ringing somewhere between China and Europe. Two days earlier, it had been declared a global pandemic by the World Health Organization. But even that had felt like one of those grandiose terminologies that often emanate from overly cautious bureaucrats. But here we were now part of the global statistics on the highly infectious virus that first erupted in Wuhan, China, sometime in December, but was now slowly engulfing the rest of the world. Two days after that, case number one was recorded, came the first address by the president on COVID-19, in which he announced the closure of schools, among other tough measures. For the first time since independence, Kenyans would experience a nationwide dusk to dawn curfew. And what a year it has been. But even though the schools have been closed, I am hoping tonight that we have learned a lot about ourselves as a country these past nine months. I'm hoping that you just notice, like I did, that the government can actually speak to us every day on an issue if it deems it important enough. By this afternoon, this government had given 268 daily briefings to you and I about COVID-19. I did not know that the government could actually dedicate time to talk to us every day on anything. Now I do, and I just wonder why it had to take a virus coming half a world away to remind us that we don't have to wait for a crisis for us to hear from our government regularly. Now, the second thing I've learned about us as Kenyans during this period was that lowering taxes is actually possible in Kenya. Remember the raft of tax measures that were issued by the president in April? The reasoning at the time was that a lot of people had lost their businesses and that many people had been rendered jobless. Nine months later, I carry this as a lesson about my country, that the government can actually ease the burden for the vulnerable if it chooses to. And again, it took a virus to remind us that a considerable number of people in this country are not doing well. They're weighed down by numerous and many times unreasonably high taxes that smother a saving culture and discourage investment. It also took a virus for us to realize that this whole digital revolution that we were told about is either only in major towns or it just never happened. That is the only way to explain the fact that the more than 10 million school children out there have never really had any coherent online lessons during this period, that is since March. That I have learned over these past nine months. I have also learned that we can actually rise to the occasion and make quite a number of things ourselves instead of relying on imports. It took a virus to travel some 8,000 kilometers up to this place for us to realize that we don't have to import some small pieces of cloth known as masks, that our textile manufacturers can do more than just churn out uniforms for company employees. That I learned over the past nine months. It took a virus for us to once again see that ugly side of us as a society, that we could actually procure PPEs at ridiculously inflated prices and let them lie in stores with no one to buy or use them as our health workers waded into hospitals without adequate protection, costing some of them their lives. That I have learned these past nine months. Yet during that period, money has been stolen. Politicians have stepped up their campaigns, one group calling for a referendum, the other opposing it and crafting a 2022 agenda. Yet I have learned that we are a kind nation too, a country that cares. We have seen those same neglected health workers put their lives in danger to save a life and Kenyans holding each other up during this season in different ways. I look forward to 2021 and pray that may we learn happier lessons about ourselves. That is my angle for the week and for the year.